operations. Anytime you're working something that has more than one step or more than one operation, there needs to be some sort of structure, some sort of order. That's why we have the order of operations. This isn't your first time to ever hear of this. You've been working with order of operations for probably a few years now, and you may have even had it explained or um, been given the acronym of PEMDAS or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally to remember the steps. There are four steps to the order of operations. First is parentheses. And we say parentheses, but we're meaning any kind of grouping symbol. You've graduated where you're beyond parentheses. You're seeing different kinds of brackets like there is here. Second is exponents. Something like one third to the fourth power or five squared. And as you should already know, what that exponent tells you is that that base is being multiplied by itself four times. So that would literally mean one third times one third times one third times one third. And you evaluate that out before you move on to the next step. Third step, multiplication and division. Here's where a common misconception comes in. Because we've been taught, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or PEMDAS, we think that multiplication comes before division. And as you're gonna see, that's not the case. It is the same step. So if we have the expression four plus seven times three, we're gonna evaluate seven times three first. In the fourth step, addition and subtraction, same kind of misconception as with multiplication and division. You don't necessarily do the addition before the subtraction. It's the same step. And the expression two minus seven plus five squared, you're gonna work that five squared first, then the addition and the subtraction. With the grouping symbols, you're going to work those from the inside out. Take a look at this. You've got brackets and parentheses going on. You're going to go to the innermost part in that. And anytime you're working with grouping symbols, you're going to do the order of operations within that grouping symbol. So we're going to start here in the middle at 8 minus 3. Notice how I've underlined that. I like to do that so that when I'm looking back at this, I can see what step it was that I was working on there. 8 minus 3, that's 5. Notice I've written 5 underneath there. And then I'm going to copy down what's left around it. Also notice I'm keeping it centered. It's going to funnel down. So within that grouping symbol, order of operations, I'm going to multiply first. Yes, I do realize that's a parenthesis there, but that parenthesis is serving a different purpose now. It's to show multiplication and not isolating um, some different operations. So 6 times 5 is 30. Look at it again. I'm going to work 30 plus 2, which is 32. 32 minus 6 is 16. Some other good just math etiquette, box your final answer. That way when you're looking back at it, it's easy to see this is my final answer. Another thing to remember, work each step from the left to the right. Remember where I said that people get confused that they think multiplication comes before division? That might not be the case. That is a step all on its own and you work that left to right. So let's go through order of operations with this. Parentheses. There's not any there. Exponents, not there. So let's go to step three, multiplication and division. I have multiplication here, division here, division here. I'm gonna work those left to right. So I'm gonna start with eight times five, which is 40. It may seem tedious to only do one step at a time per line, but I promise you it really keeps things straight and you're less likely to make an error. Let's evaluate it again. I have 19 minus 40, 40 divided by 10 plus 6 divided by 3. That division is going to, this one is going to come first. 40 divided by 10, which is 4. Write that underneath. Copy down the other stuff around it. Now I'm ready for 6 divided by 3, which is 2.
Look at it again. 19 minus 4 plus 2. In PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Yes, we say addition first. However, I'm not going to do the division first. I'm going to do the subtraction first because addition and subtraction are the same step worked left to right. 19 minus 4 is 15. And then 15 plus 2 is 17. Now some practice problems for you. Go ahead and try to work practice problem A, pause the video, and then compare with what I did. You should have gotten 24. If you had gotten 11 divided by 6 and got some crazy decimal, that means you did it out of order. You subtracted first and then you divided. That's wrong. The division comes first. Take a look at B. Try it now. This one was a little bit more complicated. A few more steps in there. First parentheses, two times three, that's six. Okay, you can see where I brought that down and then I copied everything else around it. Next, I'm gonna go with exponents. Eight squared, not 16. It's not eight times two, remember, it's eight times eight, which is 64. Next, my division, 18 divided by six is three. Bring down the rest of it. I'm gonna subtract first because I'm going left to right with that step. 36 minus 3 is 33, and then 33 plus 64 is 97. 